Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like the overwhelming message for you guys is more money, more problems. And um, I feel like the past two months and even from the end of the August time frame, September and then October, there has been a lot of um, this like dark cloud hanging over you regarding finances, regarding, you know, Am I going to be able to pay off something? So a big debt, uh, something that you owe, or some financial situation that's looming over you that you're anticipating for the future. And so there was this uncertainty when it comes to how much money do I need to save up? Do I have enough? And I feel like, you know, things have been really good for you. They're indicating to me a lot of prosperity that has been happening. But for the past few months, there was also a big chunk of money leaving your hands, going to an official party, going through, um, siphoned off to pay for expensive items. So like I do see big ticket items, big purchases as well. So because of that, I feel like, you know, moving into the month of November, you have paid off something, off something very extravagant, very big. And so you're at a point where you have to rebuild your financial foundation. You have to stabilize it. You have to solidify it and you have to find strategies to manage it. And I feel like this is a, an energy that's not going to be contained. I feel you dealing with this from now until the March time frame, where you're trying to find ways either to swirl money away or finding, um, an innovative way, an accounting system. Possibly, you know, if you are a sole proprietor of a business, you might want to incorporate your business. You might want to link up with another person and create a um, kind of like a, a, a title to your business. That way you're paying less in taxes, I feel. It doesn't indicate to me tax evasion or anything like that. But I feel like that could be one of the things showing up. Um, and I feel like if it's tax evasion, it's a small minority of you that are dealing with this. But on top of it, I just feel like, you know, more money breeding more problems. And um, you've been working really hard for your financial for your nest egg, you've been working really hard to secure that financial, you know, abundance for yourself and to have it kind of taken away from you. It just feels like it's not fair. And I do feel over, you know, curb your spending, uh, make sure that you have, you know, um, something saved up because I feel like come the end of the year and especially into February, March, you might need to do another bout of like outpouring of money going to an official channel. Okay. So, uh, what I also feeling as well is, uh, when it comes to work, when it comes to the work environment or even work partnerships or whatever, you know, um, however you make your money, I feel like you're being very clear and succinct about communication. So I see you kind of like putting your foot down. I see you telling people in a very no nonsense type of way. This is how it is. You've got these options. Let me talk to you about these separate options and then you get to decide what you want to do. I feel like you have this no nonsense approach when it comes to where you stand on certain topics, on certain items on the agenda, where you stand regarding certain people and where you stand regarding whether or not you're going to budge or whether or not you're going to, you know, stick to your gun. So I do feel this very, very decisive. It's really rare to see for you Gemini people, but I feel like it's very decisive. It's very no nonsense. It's very like clear, succinct. I'm not going to be walked um, over. I'm not going to be a doormat. I'm not going to uh, negotiate. I'm not going to change my opinion. I'm not going to change my views. This is the way that it is. And um, I feel like because of that, it is gearing you for a position in leadership, in management, in supervisory, you know, type of a uh, standing. And because of that, too, I, I don't feel like, you know, others are looking at you in a negative light. I feel that other people are a little bit impressed. And um, if in the past they kind of took you for granted, I feel like, you know, they're going to be kind of like put in their place by the things that you say or by, you know, your attitude or your demeanor towards them, which basically means that they're going to take you a lot more seriously. 
Um, in terms of business partnerships, I feel like things are headed off to a very uh, rocky start, okay? It's almost like things needed to be wrapped up so then this partnership can come into fruition. Things need to be severed, like old people need to leave so that the new people can emerge. And old energies need to be swept away so that you and your partner can, um, I, I guess, like uh, forge ahead with new plans, new ideas, new partnerships, new contracts even. So I feel like a major, major phase has come to um, a, a point of completion. You have already wrapped up, you know, existing responsibilities and it's kind of like the point of no return. Are we going to do this or are we not? Are we going to float or are we going to sink? So it's it seems very, very clear cut. It seems very definitive. And I'm also sensing, you know, there's going to be a lot of rewards heading for you guys, especially moving into that 2018 time frame. OK, so things are looking very strong, very solid, very good. Um, I'm also feeling as well. For those of you who are, um, they're saying like a lot of expenditures, a lot of money spent on um, voyages, like trips, short-term trips, long-term term trips, and I feel like living out of a suitcase. That's what it feels like to me. It's almost like so many changes are happening around you. Um, you might, you know, have to travel a lot, and um, or you feel this sense of like, oh, more things are going to come into the picture. I'd better not unpack just yet until I know for a fact this is where I'm staying for a long period of time. So I feel a lot of people, there's like a, um, uncertainty or there's like anxieties when it comes to like too many changes are on the horizon. I'm here today, but where am I going to be tomorrow? So it's almost like living out of a suitcase and it can feel very, very exciting. But at the same time, I feel like your soul is tired. You know, you're tired. Mentally, you're very alert and uh, physically, I feel like it's still exciting, but on a spiritual level, on an emotional, spiritual level, I feel like you're running on empty. So you want to, you know, hang a picture on the wall, have something that reminds you of home and then take that memento wherever you go so that you don't feel too displaced, you don't feel too estranged, you don't feel too... Um, I guess like unfamiliar with your surroundings. So having that piece of home with you wherever you go, that's going to be very crucial and whatever that means to you. It could be a family photo. It could be something that you have, you know, as a child, whatever it is, bring it with you, you know, have it available, especially when you're traveling and especially when there are difficult situations that you're anticipating in the future. Okay. So let us go into this reading here. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very, very exciting month. Uh, first of all, this is an energy about starting new things, going on adventures, traveling back and forth, possibly in your vehicle. So be very careful about speeding. Be careful about running red lights. Be careful about planning out, mapping out mapping out your route before you head off so that way you can anticipate accidents traffic roadblocks whatever it is so that you're not late okay because i feel like you're whizzing around you're speeding very very quickly um possibly running you know traffic light so be very very careful this is a very dynamic energy coming through early on in this month basically meaning there's a lot of things to do a lot of people to see a lot of like short trips, long term trips or long distance trips taken as well. So you're not going to be staying in one place for too long. OK, this usually indicates to me traveling over land, but it can also indicate as well a lot of um, a lot of energies where you're speaking to foreigners, you're dealing with people who might hail from a different environment. So being culturally sensitive, being uh, culturally appropriate, and also being, you know, having that sense of cultural competency when you speak to an audience or when you interact with people, especially if they're foreign to you, it is going to be very crucial to win over allies. So we have an energy here about you, you know, possibly working through the night, having um, very, very 
they want to say like lucid lucid dreams possibly for some of you sleepwalking but i'm also feeling inspiration coming in at nighttime in the morning in the daytime you're like whizzing around and you're not you know absorbing spiritual messages that are coming through for you so at night is when you're being bombarded by all of these spiritual uh, snippets spiritual guidance and you know it's almost like your guys are trying to speak to you to steer you in the right direction so taking some time to slow down taking some time to meditate and especially don't wear yourself out like working all night that's going to be very crucial for you to have success and to harness this energy for this month okay yes things are all happening around you but i feel like you want to really pick and choose so that you're not Com over committing yourself you're not overextending yourself and you're getting proper uh restful sleep that's very crucial and you know um motor skills are heavily affected when we're sleep deprived so i can't stress enough you need to keep yourself rested and you need to you know be very vigilant when you're driving or if other people are driving you as well okay so fast moving very um it's like a, a very momentum induced type of an energy and i feel that it it might uh, make you feel very very anxious and very high strung this month so be very careful about that okay the second card here that really uh, stood out to me we have here the three of cups and usually I think of this as like, you know, people gossiping about us or people that um, we don't really get along with, okay? So if we look at this energy, this is a water energy. This is a kind of like a clan, a group of people that are emotionally linked in with each other. And what it, denote, what it denotes to me is, you know, they have an emotional attachment to um, each other. And when it's right next here to the moon, as well as the Ten of Swords, I feel like there might have been some recent falling out between people, between people that you might have, you know, once upon a time were very close with. And you're at a point where life is accelerating for you, right? You're ascending. And I feel like you're growing spiritually, emotionally, even physically, you're growing. You're outgrowing your friends. You're outgrowing your former circle. And so even if you're making connections with them, it just feels like it's not the same. It just feels like we're all drifting apart or it just feels like you're drifting apart and they're no longer, um, that emotional connection is no longer there because life experiences are so different. And so once again, there's a huge, there's a huge element here about dealing with people that might be very culturally, ethnically different from you. And so be mindful about you know what is appropriate and also be mindful about social faux pas you know things that we shouldn't do um, cross-culturally or things that we shouldn't do when we're dealing with people who are a little bit more traditional who are a little bit more clan based or who are a little bit more like um i think of this as like a, a culture that is a little bit more collective where you know they they're not individualistic they work together as a unit, as an organism, as an, uh, um, as an, as something that is linked up with each other. Whereas your energy is very dynamic, it's very individualistic. So I feel like that might be where they kind of feel like you're the odd man out, and that might be where sources of contentions and you know cultural um, or even social faux pas might throw a wrench in the works, okay? So this is a situation where things have not been good in the past. There might have been hurtful words thrown about. There might have been, you know, somebody saying one thing and then doing another. And as a result of it, I feel like a lot of the interactions that you're dealing with for this month is like, it's it's reverberating. It's like some somebody that you dealt with in the past, they say one thing meant another. And then this is the month where you have an opportunity to set things right. And I feel that you're going to set things right. But I also feel that there are a lot of things, nuances at stake. And it almost feels like the other people might see you in one singular way. They've already formed an opinion or they've already uh, formed 
kind of like a firm opinion of you. And so switching this situation around, it is in your best interest to do so. So you have, um, you have kind of like a second chance here, a do-over, a reset. And I feel that you are going to try your best. You are going to try your best to communicate in a way where it allows the other person, you know, room to maneuver. And you're also going to be expressive because, you know, once again, you are very expressive. But I feel like I've been telling Gemini's in the past, um, be careful what you say. Don't reveal so much of yourself. While we're like this, you know, this is a page energy. So it's very, very inexperienced. So I feel like there are a lot of nuances circling around you that you might not be aware of. And so when, if you're careless with your words, if you're revealing too much, I feel like it allows another person to kind of have power and have control over you. They might not see you in a serious light and they might um, I want to say they, they might um, cast you or judge you or, you know, just um, delegate you to a position where they feel like you might not have the full knowledge and the expertise that they need. Okay. So if we're talking about job interviews as well, err on the side where you are being a little bit more linear and systematic when you communicate. So don't... Um, um, inundate them with too much information you know don't go off on tangents of course but at the same time speak from a voice of authority speak from expertise really digging in doing that research and you know making yourself sound as credible and even as knowledgeable as you can so that means sticking to things that you know for certain okay rather than bluffing uh, in the upright position, this is somebody with good intentions. This is somebody who's trying their best, but it is also a very young energy. It is a student. It is somebody who's very inexperienced. So if you do not know something, you have to kind of fess up. Oh, I'm not very aware of that. Can you tell me more? But, you know, doing so in a crafty manner rather than saying, I don't know, and then shutting down, I feel it would be best for you to say, I'm actually not aware uh, of that topic or I'm not aware of that situation. Can you elaborate? Can you give me more information? And then, you know, go off on what they're telling you, okay? Then gradually absorb that information because you're here to learn and we're all here to learn in one way or another. But I feel like this is technical knowledge that you still need to accumulate, technical knowledge that you still need to memorize and technical knowledge that you still need to kind of, um, you've already learned it and you're trying to apply it in real life. And I feel like there is somebody kind of guiding you through this process. First of all, we have here a uh, pentacles person. So this is a um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I usually look at this person as somebody who is in a position of authority over you, okay? Supervisor, a manager, a boss, somebody who's um, kind of judging your performance or somebody who um, has a lot of wisdom. But this person, he or she, once again, the cards are gender neutral. He or she is very very smart they see value in people and things they see proper value in people and things and what they do is that um they they, they have a very hands-off type of an approach where they want to assess your skills if there's a problem they sit back and they see how you handle it and so for this month it would be very smart for you to kind of like slow down your energy to the level of this person. This is a very deliberate person. They're calculating and they make calculated decision. So if you run into some type of trouble, if you run into, you know, a problem where you feel like, I don't know if I have all the information, let me bluff it, don't do that. Um, I feel like it's really important for you to slow down and really think about it, you know, go through that process. Um, go through that problem-solving, troubleshooting process and ask yourself, 
okay, so what do I know? And what do I not know? And how do I arrive at conclusions? So I feel like you have to play the scientist here. And then if you're absolutely stuck, going to this person is going to be in your best interest because they also want to be able to trust you. So if you don't know something, they want you to solve it first. And then if you're absolutely stuck, they want you to come to them and they'll make your problems go away. So I feel for some of you, this is a, uh, a person that you're working with. And this is somebody with a lot of knowledge, a lot of expertise, and they see a lot of potential in you. If this is a relationship partner, you've got one of the best placement here because I usually think of this as the Mr. or Mrs. Wright. And with this person, they're very sensual, very, um, they can be very, very generous. They don't like to be taken advantage of though, but they can be very incredibly generous and they will be there to help you if you ever come across any types of a problem that you can't handle on your own. So a very dependable uh, relationship partner. I feel for some of you, also family member, a family member, possibly older brother or older, older sister, um, father figure even with this card, mainly because I'm feeling this is somebody that um, if it's a father figure or somebody within your family, I feel like they, they say like intelligence is passed down. So this is somebody that has a lot of intelligence, a lot of wisdom. And, you know, by being genetically linked to them, they're passing down these traits to you. So the way that you think, the way that you process information is very similar to them. So I feel like a very strong uh, intellectual rapport between you and this person and whatever the two of you think about I feel like you might approach it a different way but you will arrive at the same conclusions you have the same sense of problem solving and things like that so I feel like there's going to be heavy interaction with this person um, the fact that they're kind of crowning you in this reading indicates to me you're heavily thinking about this person um, you, you're heavily thinking about how do they see me and your, your, their opinion of you matters a great, great, great deal as well. So once again, be careful about pegging our sense of self-worth and our self-esteem based on how other people perceive us. Don't do that. Okay. But I feel like you can't really help it because you're very, very smitten by this person, or at least you really admire this person and you wish that you could, you know, have the skills and the fortitude and, you know, the patience that they have. So I'm going to do your love relationship reading in a little bit, but I feel like this is somebody you're heavily, heavily thinking about. There might have been some communication mishaps in the past, and I feel like you're trying to rectify the situation. You're trying to figure out okay, it was my fault. What can I do differently so that it doesn't happen again? So I feel like you're basically emerging, learning a lot about what not to do, how to better communicate, how to be a lot more mellow, and how to be a lot more calm. So this is a month where we're dealing with a lot of self-improvements that's happening. And I feel like the self-improvement um, was something where you, I, I feel like, and I don't want this to be harsh at all, okay? I feel like people have been telling you, like, you need to slow down or you need to, you know, do things a little bit differently. And you were resisting, right? Because uh, this is an energy of somebody that knows it all. So you were resisting. And this is the month where in the process of dealing, having a lot of dealings with all different kinds of people, and having situations that might have gone awry, you know, social interactions where there were social faux pas committed. And I also feel like when you're dealing with somebody that doesn't see eye to eye with you and they purposely cling, cling on to their position, um, it's really striking a chord with you where you're feeling like, I need to change my strategy. I need to know more. I need to learn more. I need to reassess and I need to change myself not that there's anything wrong with you gemini's but i feel like it's still a growing process that you're going through and it's still a situation where you look back at the past what did i do wrong how were my words or my actions kind of hurtful and 
if I have a chance to fix it, of course you're going to fix it because I feel like you're starting to see the consequences, actions and consequences. I, I feel that coming through. If in the past you have been a little bit kind of enthusiastic, overly enthusiastic or a little bit reckless, I feel like emotionally um, it created, you know, uh, situations where people might not have trusted you, you or they might not have felt like you were going to be around. And so that created falling outs, that created emotional estrangements between you and other people. And so this is the month where we have do-overs, we have resets, we have an, an opportunity to make things right. Okay, and I feel like you're going to jump on that opportunity to make things right, to just rectify a situation. So um, I'm going to talk about this because it came out first as well. So first of all, um, I have another person in the picture here. This is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. And this is someone quite exciting, quite popular, very, um, you know, love them and leave them type of a person. And it can be male or female. So Sagittarius, Aries, Leo sun moon or rising and I feel like it's linked up with the moon it could be a moon sign and I feel as if there's a lot of romance there's a lot of um, there's really really good emotional connection as well and I feel as if you're following in their footsteps you're kind of like led by this person and if you were in a um, any type of a situation with them I feel like the re relationship was very based on their whims. So be careful about that. I, I mentioned before, don't peg your sense of self-worth on another person. Okay, It's hard for dual signs not to do that. And dual signs, you and um, Pisces, it's very hard for you guys to not do that. And I feel like this is the month where it's becoming a little bit difficult to do that because this person might be here today gone tomorrow they're exciting and yes you're following their footsteps but i feel like the the direction is dictated by them and you might not have as much say or influence in the same way that they have over you so be very careful about you know not getting pulled and dragged along uh, by somebody else and you're neglecting your responsibilities okay so i'm going to leave it at that and we're going to do your love reading in a little bit because this is exciting to see i feel like some of you are transitioning as well uh, you're no longer looking for this fun exciting dynamic person you want something a little bit more stable that's what it feels like to me you're no longer looking to you know globe trot jump around, move from place to place. You're looking for a job that is a little bit more stable or you're looking for a way of life that is a little bit more stable as well. So the last two cards I'm going to talk about here is the Six of Pentacles as well as the Wheel of Fortune. This is usually in the upright of uh, financial windfall, money coming in, money coming back to you. When it's in the reverse, I feel like some of you, you know, more money, more problems, um, money leaving your hands. Okay, money coming to uh, going out to contractors, for example, or money coming in to a specialist or somebody who is giving you some type of technical advice, like a consultant. So there's a lot of money that have or is going to be leaving your hands this month. Um, this is not coming in as a surprise. Okay, so I feel like this is something that has been kind of hovering over you and you have already taken care of it, or if not, you have plans to take care of it this month. And this is something that they're saying, don't cry over it. You're going to be able to rebuild it, okay? We have to spend money to make money is what I'm sensing. So the bridge between this process where you're spending money and this process where you're building up money, we have the Wheel of Fortune here, which means your luck is going to turn around which means there will be ample opportunities for you to rebuild that wealth, okay? So right now, you're, you need to solidify your plans. You need to, you know, aim to do things. Learn from the past. Aim to do things in a more timely manner is what I'm sensing. And if you, and I feel this a lot, um, ver, you know, the earth signs are really, really good. And, and also Scorpios. Earth signs, Scorpios, they're very, very good with financial management. But I feel like for other signs, uh, it's not too great. And especially for you guys, Geminis, I feel like you've been 
having fun, you know, going out living your life. And so accumulating money and being, you know, nickel and diming yourself is not something that you do. And so you have to take lessons, you know, learn from the past. Where have I been too extravagant? Where have I succumbed to emotional spending? Where have I just kind of like, um, through socializing, wasted a lot of money as well? and through you know practical responsibilities that I didn't take care of I feel like you're extrapolating these uh, lessons and then you're going to start to rebuild for the future okay so it looks really really good we're ending up with good cards here so I feel that you're at a point where you're stabilizing yourself you're not feeling wobbly or you're not feeling unsure anymore you're still making some type of strategic maneuvering and you're going to start implementing implementing them excuse me in the month of November okay so best of luck with you guys and uh, I apologize once again for the delay with the reading okay take care of yourself I'll be back for your love reading